Ask YouTube for a pay rise. YouTube doesn't pay me, you pay me. So what do you mean, ask YouTube for a pay rise? Unless you mean like, YouTube takes a percentage of my earnings, so maybe they should take less percentage. Then that actually makes sense. Maybe I'll, I'll let you off if you meant that. You got Suns, Lions, Cats and Eagles. Oh, this is from Round 23, sorry. That's my bad. Demons 20. I will let you off. What's your name? Bloody forgot you. What? Groper Joe and Friends. What the f? It's five times just for the name and another one for the demons. Uh, Cats 35, Sons 15. At least I got the uh, results right. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, Hawthorne 40, Brisbane 15. Brisbane, he actually almost cooked, to be fair. Hawthorne 40. I'll take it. Swans 14, Giants 32. Um, again, I'll let you off for the Giants. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Saints 28, Port 19. Finally, a Port tip. We have some sanity. That is nice. Uh, maybe Suns, Doggies and Port get upset. None of them did. I mean, Suns got upset for the whole season, but not in round 24. Just for your name again, because it's bloody weird to read another four times. So even though you only got one bad tip, you're still on the list 10 times. So it's, it, it, that, that, that name is too much. But yeah, I completed nine days in a row of streaming. Well done to me. Uh, six on Twitch, three on YouTube. I did a total, I didn't do this on purpose, but it was perfect timing. I did a total of 24 hours, 45 minutes and 45 seconds over nine streams. It's, uh, it's, uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. A uh, mix of AFL finals and uh, gaming on Twitch. Uh, give time for yourself. I definitely should, shouldn't I? I definitely should. Uh, but then that's me. Last night, I i mean, this morning I should say, because it's not midnight yet. This morning I bloody, I was up 25 hours to watch, the, to watch all those games and it wasn't worth the stress in the end. I mean, to be fair, the Saints game was entertaining AF. That was brilliant. <laughs> I don't regret staying up for that, but my, my word, I should have gone to sleep after that one. Um, but yeah, thanks for your reassurance, Ben, because I have a massive headache, and it's free of Fremantle's fault. Fremantle on the list again. One billion plus one. Stupid idiots. And th th this guy comments something dumb, saying, if Hoffman wins a flag a day to do your 10th stream. He didn't read nine days in a row. He's a Collingwood fan. He should know what a streak is. I mean, I get that meme number's stupid, because he supports Fremantle. On the list again, Fremantle. Meme number's a Fremantle fan. They don't know what winning is. What's a win streak to Fremantle? They don't know what that is. They don't even know that's a word. Like, that's, that's, that's more a West Coast thing than a Fremantle thing. So, obviously, he's dumb, but he's a Fremantle fan. So, he doesn't know what winning is. But you're a Collingwood fan. You know what winning is, you know what win streak is. So, the fact that you didn't get the streak thing is hilarious. Nine days in a row, I tweeted, I, I messaged, not, that's not a tweet, that's a community post. So the tenth day in a row would have to be the next day. So on that day would have been Wednesday. A stream on Wednesday would have been the tenth day uh, in a row. And he said, if Hawthorne wins the flag, I dare you to do your tenth stream. On Wednesday. So on Wednesday the 21st of August, he said I should stream, I, on Wednesday the 21st of August, if Hawthorne win the flag, I should stream. How do Hawthorne win the flag in August? The fi grand finals in September, at the end of September. This is this guy's calendar. August 19th, August 20th, September 30th. That's what he thinks the calendar is, clearly. If he thinks that's the 10th day in a row. Like, my word. Calling it, I mean, I get Freo fans don't get the joke. I get Freo fans are dumb, but Collingwood fans should know what a streak is. My days. What the air for hopes happens around 24. <laughs> 77, 196. Uh, Geelong losing to West Coast. Uh, I mean, nah, the AFL would want Richmond to win that game. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> 9999. Brisbane, uh, 101, 82. Uh, are you sure they want Brisbane to win? Uh, Sydney, uh, Adelaide, Sydney, Adelaide to win. Uh, Bulldogs uh, t to lose. Carlton. Carson did lose by, uh, by by a couple points to be fair, and Fremantle beat Port Adelaide. That would uh... what what is Carlo saying here? Melbourne not as bad as you think. He didn't predict that. He said what A4 hopes. 
Oh, it was to the AFL. What? He's talking to the AFL through my comment section and I'll reply to AFL Legend. Does he think AFL Legend works for the AFL? I'm confused. I have a headache. This is Freo's fault. On the list again, Freo. One billion plus three times. I think Eagles win the flag in the next four or five years. 2030, mate. 2030. Every 12 years. 1994, 2006, 2018. 2030 is their next flag. The sequence is there. This Craig McRae one is bad. Not even a coach which is young bad decisions they normally get. Bit inappropriate. The next week the Pies did, but we won. There is some analysis on those Razor Ray uh, comments from last week. Take two, have to do better this time. Round 24 tips. Collingwood by 27. Geelong by 115. Uh, it's just not, actually not too bad. Uh, not too far off. Richmond by five. I'll let you off. Unfortunately, Hawthorne by 50. Uh, it's a good prediction. Brisbane 35. It's not too bad. Um, Sydney 22. Not too bad as well. Also, credit to Adelaide for hitting 90 points. You know, fair enough. The season was over and they still played pretty well. Giants by 3. I'll let you off even though it's wrong. Carlton by 10. And Frio by 15. I uh, heard Frio again. On the list again, Frio. Uh, but uh, Jai is on the list twice for those last two tips. But apart from that, he is not on the list. The life ban for spamming is unfair, says this guy. He has been in my live streams. The first live stream I saw him in was the A4 Evolution. So that was the first time I ever saw Mars McGee and everything changed <laughs> from that point in the comment section. But the first time I saw Mars McGee was in an AFI Evolution stream in 2017. Uh, and uh, ever since he's been in a lot of my streams and I appreciate the support. I do appreciate the support, but sometimes it's a bit of a madman in the comment section of the streams. Uh, in the live chat, he is, uh, he's, he's a little bit uh, OTT. And one thing he does a lot of is requesting to ban people. He has requested me to ban so many people. He's begged me to make him mod so he can ban people himself. But there's so many accounts, there's probably hundreds of accounts. He has said ban them, ban them, ban them. And he's been doing, he's been like this since 2017. Think about it. I've been streaming a lot. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, damn I'm old. But uh, all these years, he's been in streams every single year, right? And in almost every stream without fail, he, he can't go a whole stream without saying, ban someone. And now this guy wants to give banning advice to me. This guy, the guy who wants to ban everybody, is giving me banning advice. Mars McGee, you just made the list. It's like the Joker complaining about crime rates. It's like the Joker saying there's too much crime, we should be more peaceful. And I'm just like, you're the Joker, you're literally a terrorist. Like, come on now, this guy is the chief. I want to ban this person. I want to ban that person. And suddenly he wants to say, you know what? I'm going to give banning advice. No, 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 no. No, 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 we, 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 we will not do that, we will not do that. You blocked unbranded. Wow, that makes two of us. Aha, okay, I'm not Thomas Fiddy, haha. Maybe the only thing that is the same in an AFL, maybe the only thing that is the same thing in an AFL, it's an AFL by the way, it's because of vowel there, and the team is to make a point of difference in an AFL and win in the optus of a team of the essence of a... This is not English. The best in 44 win the world of point difference. I'm not reading all of this. He's not being banned, but that this comment never happened. This is Fremantle's fault. I'm putting Fremantle on the list. Got a headache. 1 billion plus 5 for Fremantle now. Let's see if this guy's cooked. Oh my days. Brighton 2-1 Man United. He got that. He got that spot on. Also, this is really funny. <laughs> uh, that was great to see. And obviously Arsenal won a big game on top of that. So it was... It, apart from Chelsea scoring 6 and Man City winning again. Uh, and also Tottenham winning 4-0. Uh, actually, well, the only good thing apart from Arsenal winning was actually Man United losing. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's one of our rivals losing. I'll take it. Uh, Palace 3-2. You didn't cook there, brother. Fulham 2... 
How has he got two score lines? Exact. This guy is cooking something, even though he got that wrong. City, 3 0, it's 4 1, so the margin was close. I mean, the margin was the exact same, just different goals scored. Uh, Samson 1 1. Uh, ah, almost. Forest 1, but only 1 0. Spurs 3 0, only a goal off. Villa, oh my days! Oh my days! This guy got three correct scores! Three! Newcastle 2-1 it was 1-1 so actually not far off technically he said Wolves 2-1 Wolves did score 2 issue is they conceded 6 but uh, <laughs> and Liverpool 3-0 so a goal off so he was a goal off a few times he was stupid a couple times but he also got 3 correct scores Ebag fair enough if you made any AFL tips I will give you a free pass uh, to any stupid tip um, I don't know if you made any though, but uh, that was you cooking. <laughs> you just made the list! 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 You just made the list!